Brevin Mejita, I'm here with Tim Kennedy, and uh, you've got a big fight coming up against Trevor Prangley. What are you going to do in there? Because he's a tough guy. He's a veteran, been there for a long time, got a lot of uh, lot of weapons in his arsenal. Uh, he is a tough guy. Every time that anybody talks about him, he's like, that's a tough guy. <laughs> and <laughs> He is. You know, and you ask what I'm going to do, like, I'm going to punch him, I'm going to knee him, I'm going to kick him, I'm going to probably elbow him, and then I'm going to take him down, I'm going to try to submit him, and then if that doesn't work, I'll try to knock him out some more. You know, so it's kind of what we do in fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a realistic sport. you got to be careful, though, because elbows sometimes in strike force, they're a little dicey. See on the elbows. They are. Um, Don't get called on those. No, no, definitely not. No, I'm, 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 I'm straight up clean fighter. You know, like, I know. and uh, I love a good fight. You yeah. know, elbows on your feet are fun, and that's where I'll do them right. if we can. So, for people who haven't maybe seen you fight, do you have a, uh, you know, what's your background? What do you think that your strengths are going in there? What is he going to be looking out for? Um, I think he's going to be looking out for my ground and pound. I think he's going to want to sprawl and bang. Um, you know, take me down and hold me down. I think ours two only answers to how I fight. And you know, I fight explosive, knockout from every position. You know, I've knocked outs literally from every position from mount from side control from your back you know from our feet from the clench um, you know and submissions from everywhere too so you know either hold me down or you just stay away from me you know those are your only two options and that's gonna be hard to do well and I would think too that with your military background it's hard to beat you in the head game yeah that doesn't happen you know like f fighting fighting's fun you know I'm not gonna get blown up or shot so right. you know this is, this is good this is all gravy in there yeah how many tours have you done and just uh, for people who don't know what is your background I mean obviously we see you in the range Stuff. I know you were a sniper, but if you could sort of give us the uh, the uh, full report of what it, what it is that you've done, sir. Well, I'm a Special Forces Green Beret, um, a Special Forces Sniper, I'm Ranger Qualified, um, Infantryman, Airborne, um, been Afghanistan, Iraq, and all the countries around there, um, and then a whole bunch of other tours uh, throughout the world. Um, so. See, those of us who aren't in the military, we call you the sh. <laughs> that's, that's what we say right there. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I'm fighting now, so right. you don't have to be scared of something 2,000 meters away. Just be scared of something about two and a half feet away. I wonder what your family thinks of this, um, what they think is more dangerous and what they have, you know, worry more about when you go away overseas or when you go into the cage. Oh, they don't They don't worry about me fighting. They, 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 they know it's a fight. Um, you know. Because it's hands-on, though. Now they can see what's going on. That's the thing is, you know, it's different to know you're away doing something. It's different to be sitting eight feet away outside the cage and watch, watch, watch you get beat up, though. No, definitely. The out-of-sight, out-of-mind thing is, is uh, you know, when I'm deployed, they don't know what's going on. They don't know that I got blown up. They didn't know I got shot at. They didn't know I have a bullet hole in my kit, right. you know. Um, but then they see me in the, in the cage with four-ounce gloves, you know. That's so scary. But no, they're, 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 they know the difference, and uh, they support me in both. So I guess we just have to look out for the day the Royal rings and Scott Coker's at the door, right? That means something happened, right? Instead of a man in uniform with a note, right? Yeah, that'd be a bad we thing. Regret to inform you, Scott's at the door. <laughs> no. So, um, so great. So this is going to be fun for you. Do you have uh, ring walk music picked out? That's the most important part, I think. It is. Um, I can't talk about my music right now. I had a couple of buddies from uh, my special forces unit that picked it out. Yeah. Um, it's not the Ballad of the Green Beret, yeah, um, which which is the greatest song ever, but uh, it's going to be good. Yeah. yeah. All right, Tim. Well, good luck to you. It's nice to have you around. Thanks for having me. I'm Tim Kennedy, and you're watching MMA Heat.